What is the quickest you have gone from meeting someone to having sex with them? I was at a Guar concert in 2006 or 2007. There were two opening bands and then Guar. Between the second band and Guar, I went up to the bar, ordered a PBR, and a very nice looking girl leaned over and said you should grab me one of those. Make it two. I said. She got her beer and I was just about to turn and walk back to the floor, not giving it another thought, but she grabbed my shirt sleeve and said if I asked you to fuck me, would you call me a whore? Depends. Do you want me to call you a whore? I replied. I kinda do. She said. She asked what I was doing after the show and I was like I was going home but I'm Ian. Anyway, we hung out for the show, she rode back with me and a buddy I was with. I think she left some of her friends there. My friend dropped her and I off. She came back to my house and we banged in my room like 7 times or something and fell asleep. The next day I woke up but I didn't have a car at that point in my life. I was 21 and still living with my mom. It was really awkward because I think she told me her name that night but I was drunk as shit and didn't remember it. I doubt she remembered mine. We were both all kinds of fucked up. We both emerged from my room and my mom was taken aback, but made small talk like well, I hope you had fun last night. Then she took us both out for breakfast and they wound up talking about their favorite episodes of Law and Order for like half an hour. We dropped her off at her house which was a fucking hour and a half away, I shit you not, and I never saw or heard from her again. And that, my friends, was the moment I realized it was time to move the fuck out of my mom's house. Your mom was the real MVP on that one taking you out to breakfast and driving 3 hours to drop her off. Total fucking hero. Asked me for months if I'd recently seen or talked to that sweet girl she dropped off. Swore we'd make a cute couple. Kept reminding me it's not nice to just sleep with girls and never call them again. That's no way to treat a lady. I raised you better than that. I didn't have the heart to tell her I was pretty sure the ghosting was mutual. Me to avoid embarrassment. Her to forget about waking up next to a carless loser still living at home with mom. My wife. Met her through mutual friends and less than an hour later we were drunk and banging in the apartment complex laundry room. Then on a couch. Then a bed. Lots of sex. Good times. And this guys. Is how he met your mother. A few hours in a club she asked me for a lighter. We smoked a cigarette together then she pulled me away from my friends we hooked up and went to her place when the club closed. Fast forward 2 days, she was there again. I went there to ask if she wants a cigarette and that's when she pulled me away again and it all happened again 10 slash 10 would do again. Which club? I would like to camp there with a cigarette. 3 hours. We met on plenty of fish. It was the first date I'd been on in ages. We had a couple of drinks in NYC. Was a good night. We were trashed by the second bar one thing led to another. And we had sex inside of one of those porn booths in some porn shop near Port Authority. It was great until she started crying afterwards because she didn't want me to think she was a slut. Did you guys continue seeing each other? Funny part. We did hang out a few more times. Actually, on and off for 6 months. We hooked up a bunch more times and whatnot, and then we stopped. I still have her on Facebook and she has a man now. But there are times she slips and randomly decides to still send me nudes. 18 years. Met my wife when we were 5. Got together in our 20s. Played that long game. I was at Estelle's in Chicago in a 2003, and this slightly older girl was in the line for the bathroom and there were zero dudes in line. And at that time the dude's bathroom was one urinal and one toilet with no stall, which didn't really prevent the prodigious use of cocaine in there. Anyway, knowing the situation, I told her to come in with me and while I was pissing, I'd block the door with my foot. She was very impressed. We left the bar from there. She slept over. Hottest one night stand in my whole life. In the morning, I said to her, so, can I have your number? She goes, let's not, and kisses me hard as fuck and turns on her heel, and flips the back of her skirt up at me on her way out my door. Never got her name. I told her to come in with me and while I was pissing, I'd block the door with my foot. She was very impressed. What? With the pissing. With the sexy had a girl I never met drag me off the dance floor into the bathroom of a club in 92. Our entire relationship lasted about 5 minutes. Never even got her name. 
A few years ago I used to be a regular on a relationship forum. After I posted yet another sob story a female member suggested we meet up for a drink since we lived close to each other, sort of a way to see if she can figure out what was wrong with me. A few hours later she suggests going to my place and we have sex. We end up at FWB for about a year and I actually ended up living with her for 4 months. That was a wild year. The last time we hooked up was about 3 years ago, and I haven't even kissed a woman since then. Oh well. Like a couple of days, probably, met her on a cruise, and we kept running into each other on the ship until things eventually led to the bedroom. Cruise fling start and end quickly. The herpes lasts forever. Within 5 minutes of meeting I was giving him a BJ. Want to be featured in my videos? Become a patron at the Patreon link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every day. Aww. How long does it take to drive home from the club 20 minutes? She was already trying to fuck me in the backseat of her friend's car. Her friend was like, EW, just wait till you get home, you slut. Relax, I'm gonna fuck him there too. Her friend wouldn't let her fuck me in the backseat, but she didn't notice the blowjob until she pulled up at the house. Okay, we're, what the fuck? Can't you even wait 5 minutes to get a cock in your mouth? I met my wife on Occupid several years ago, we chatted for a few hours, we almost immediately became infatuated with each other because we were both massive nerds, and then we decided to meet the following day. Well as it turned out we were both outrageously horny, and once it was apparent that neither of us gave a single solitary damn about getting coffee, we changed plans, went to my apartment, smoked a couple bowls and fucked relentlessly for hours. She's kinky, I'm kinky, and we happen to be lucky enough to experience love at first fuck, so to speak. The dating and traditional courtship happened later, and it's hilarious in retrospect because when people ask us how we met we usually give each that knowing look, and keep the response as glib as possible. We clicked is more than enough, because it's technically true in the best possible way. About 45 minutes, hostel in Greece. Ran into a guy I knew who was heading down to the beach with three girls he had met at the bar to go skinny dipping. I offered to show them a private cove I had just discovered. The Australian girl and I had a bit of immediate attraction, so after a little while of frolicking on the beach, she and I adjourned to a towel. My friend ended up taking the other two back to his room, so his story is probably better than mine. Within half an hour college party and was hitting it off with a cute guy. We snuck up to the bathroom and had a quickie, then went our separate ways. Thing is, that same guy could be on here and read this comment and was like what a lucky guy. I remember doing that with no idea that it's actually him you're talking about. Well I was a hooker at one point, suadu, I'd say a solid 2 minute drive. I was single for a month before I met this guy on tinder, we matched. I thought he was cute and got lucky that he messaged me. We talked for a bit about different bands we like and concerts we've been to slash going to and I told him I was looking for a new concert buddy. He then asked me out on a date, and I agreed. Took me to a nice Cuban restaurant in Philadelphia, and then went back to his place because, 1. My car was there and, 2. I really wanted to meet his cat. I love cats. We started kissing. He started feeling me up, and I said to him, if you ask nicely, I'll take it off for you. We ended up in the bedroom, I left around 2am to go home. We've been together for a year now, I'm totally, madly in love with him. TL, DR, hooked up with a guy from Tinder after the first date, we've been together for a year now. Walking down to a 7-11 in Philly, college area, Halloween. Can't even remember what she was dressed as or her name. Girl walked by me, put her hand on my crotch said I had a nice dick. My dorm room was about a 10 minute walk so 11 minutes to completion. Often no more than a minute. I've never been the pickup type and was usually too shy to try in public. And back in the days of Craigslist casual encounters, the ratio of males to females looking for hookups there was about 400 to 1. So I came up with a system where I would post 4M4W ads per day, the max, looking for various scenarios so it wasn't obvious they were all from literally the same person, but all with my details. Then, on a Friday night, 
I'd click renew on all my ads so that the front page would be 90% me, and I'd get responses from women just looking to meet for sex. One of those hookups end up repeating enough times that we got to know each other and stopped doing the casual encounters thing. We're still together 4 years later. Damn you're a fucking genius. Met this girl in Germany and within 20 minutes was sniffing her butthole. Isn't that just a normal greeting? Thank you for watching. Smash that like button like it's a thick booty. And don't forget to subscribe to OKPJ Dark if you like nice things, like new videos every day. See you tomorrow.